Hello and welcome to HIM Training Institute. We are a health information training center located at 4th floor of the study by Enderun at the Podium Mall in the Ortega Center. We're just at the back of the SM Mega Mall. We offer medical coding courses both basic and intermediate that allows Filipinos to earn their U.S. medical coding credentials or licenses recognized in the Philippines, in the U.S., and in the Middle East. Medical coding is a relatively new and very attractive career to get into where a credential or license opens opportunities for employment both in the Philippines and abroad. This is the first of our learning videos meant to provide a peek into the licensure exam for those who are interested to learn about medical coding and as an aid for those who are currently preparing for their U.S. medical coding credentialing exam. This is our small way of continuing to build the ranks of competent Filipino medical coders able to service the growing demand for certified medical coders both locally and internationally. Today we are going through a practice question for the CPC or Certified Professional Coder exam which falls under the purview of the AAPC. Here's the question. A patient presents to the physician's office for the first time with nausea and vomiting. The physician performs a detailed history. Also supported by documentation is an eight-organ system comprehensive exam and moderate decision-making. The physician assesses the patient with acute gastritis. What are the appropriate ENM or evaluation and management and ICD-10 CM codes for this service? Let's look at the available choices. Letter A, 99205, and the ICD codes K29.00 and R11.2. Letter B is 99203, and the ICD code K29.00. Letter C is 99202, and the ICD code R11.2. And letter D is 99204, and the ICD codes K29.01 and R11.2. At this point, you could put the presentation on pause to give yourself time to solve the scenario, and once done, you could release that pause button so that you could see the recommended solution. Go ahead. Okay, let's try to solve this particular scenario. What is being asked here is the ENM level for this visit. If you could remember for your ENMs, you would have to know, number one, where is the location of the service, number two, the type of patient, and number three, the exact level of the service. The location here is already given, first sentence, it's in the physician's office. And you could see that the choices are all office visit codes. The second thing you would have to ask yourself is the type of patient. In the first sentence as well, you could read that this is the patient's first time to be seen by this doctor. Hence, this is a new patient. And you could see that in all four of the choices, these are new patient codes. Finally, for ENM, you would have to determine the actual level of the visit. And here is where the decision is made. In new patient visits, the key components of history examination and medical decision making would have to be a three out of three. In this particular question, the key components are 1. A detailed history, 2. A comprehensive exam, and 3. A moderate medical decision making. That being the case, if you go to your CPT manual under the ENM section, you will see the type of key components required for each and every one of the levels under new patient. First to be taken out among the choices in front of you is letter A. Why so? Because 99205 will require a comprehensive history. Doon pa lang, out na ang 99205. Remember, 3 out of 3. Next to be taken out, letter D. 99204 will also require a comprehensive history. In this visit, the history is only detailed. So you're now down to two choices, 99203 or 99202. 99203 will require just a detailed history. The exam will just have to be detailed as well. 
and the medical decision making needs only to be low complexity. With 99203, the level of the history is met. With 99203, the level of the exam is met as well. Actually, mas mataas kasi comprehensive na ang ginawang exam. But the requirement for 99203 is only detailed. And finally, for medical decision making, it is also met. Ang requirement lang ng 99203 is low complexity. What you have here is moderate. The same is true for 99202. Because the only requirement for 99202 is a problem focus exam in history plus straightforward medical decision making. So nag overshoot na siya sa 203, mas nag overshoot pa siya, mas sobra pa yung nangyari sa kanya sa 202. So the best code to report in this scenario is your 99203, letter B. Another way of answering it, if you're already down to the last two having eliminated 99204 and 99205 because they failed to meet the three out of three requirements for ENM, is this. Take a look at the ICD codes for letter B and letter C. Yes, in the first sentence, all that you have is that the patient is complaining of nausea and vomiting. And those are symptom codes are 11.2 to be exact. But towards the end of the question, there is a definitive diagnosis that has been given, acute gastritis, which is a K code. And as is the ruling in ICD-10, an integral symptom is dropped in favor of the definitive diagnosis of which it is a part of. Hence, the best answer is the answer with a K29.00. We hope that that has helped you some to get an impression of what a U.S. Medical Coding Credential exam would be like. And for folks out there who are preparing for their U.S. Medical Coding exam, we hope that this has provided you some tips to perform better during your test. For medical coding training and review courses, you can contact us by going to our website www.himti.ph or emailing us at info at also, you could give us a call at 655-3609 or 0917-990-1971 or 0949-7825764. We hope to hear from you soon. Thank you and have a good rest of the day.